Hello, this is Jimmy. Jimmy, it's Double V. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. It's conservative actor Vince Vaughn. Hey, Vince, how are you? Ecstatic, as usual, Jim Jam. I'm looking at this Democratic 2020 field so far, this 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 clown car of unelectable dillweeds. <laughs> I'm loving it, baby. Four more years. <laughs> oh, yeah? You excited about that? For sure, Seamus, for sure. You got Bernie in, of course, everybody's favorite grandpa, who's going to give them free shit so they don't have to work or contribute to society like I did. <laughs> you got Elizabeth Warren, who thinks she's an Indian. Guess what, Liz? Sacagawea don't believe you. You got a gay guy, butt plug or some shit, that's his name. You got Kamala what? Harris. For whom putting black men in prison seems to have been a hobby. Let's see, who else? Kirsten Gillibrand. A president named Kirsten. Go fuck yourself, for real. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Tulsi Gabbard. Actually, you know what? Yes, please. On that one. No complaints. Wow. But none of them have a chance against Trump, though? Absolutely not. No. He's flying high, Jimmy. Our country's never been better. We're finally winning back the respect of the world. And why is that, Vince? Because we're about to invade Venezuela. <laughs> that is why, Jimmy. <laughs> when we go too long without a full-on interventionist invasion, that's when some of these little other bitch countries start getting lippy. <laughs> they forget who the big dog is. <laughs> I see. I see. Yeah. And a coup in Latin America. Glad to see this nation finally getting back to its roots. <laughs> <laughs> and the way they're doing it is so brilliant, baby. Taunting them with relief supplies at the border. Hey, guys, want some snacks? I think we got some Funyuns here somewhere, you know. <laughs> then they let us in like a Trojan horse, and bam, the fucking A-team or some shit busts out. Starts karate chopping communists. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad you're so unhappy about it. I'm glad you're so happy about what is sure to be an unmitigated disaster in Venezuela, Vince. It's going to be great. And we're pulling out of a nuclear deal with the Russians, finally. Vince, that treaty was signed in the 80s. It's one of the backbones of the U.S.-Russian relations. Yeah, well, then it sucks. We don't need to be in a treaty with them. Fuck the Ruskies. So you think that Russia hacked our election? No, no, I, I, I don't. Fuck them for other reasons. That's, that's <laughs> nonsense. That's fake news, coaches. They like <laughs> Trump, which is cool. Okay, admittedly, my thinking isn't quite clear in this particular situation. I'll admit that. <laughs> okay. But you think, you think things are going well in general? Are you kidding? Donald Trump is making reality his bitch, and I love it. <laughs> okay. And look out, because us MAGA patriots are finally starting to have revenge on all you noodle neck libs. That Covington, Kentucky kid who bravely stared down that Native American who was attacking him. With native drumming? Well, he's suing the Washington Post for their anti-Trumpian smears against him for $250 million. Right, right, which is what Jeff Bezos paid for the paper when he bought it, the Washington Post. Exactly. So they're going to win that case, and then that Covington kid is going to own the Washington Post. <laughs> That's how this works. <laughs> so now we get to choose the articles. We're coming in strong, baby. That actor from that show Empire that no one watches, Justy Smollett, well, he was running his mouth off about Trump, and he got jumped by two guys in MAGA hats. That's what you get, baby, for talking smack. Actually, you know, that whole thing turned out to be a giant hoax, Vince. You know what? I knew it. Just the <laughs> left-wing media smear to make it seem like Trump supporters are dangerous and violent, which we are not. It's the left who are dangerous. Shameful. <laughs> you know, Vince, you don't seem to have a coherent take on any of this stuff. I know. It's extremely liberating. This is a great era for guys like me. Just all Adderall and bluster. <laughs> just say whatever, you know? You have your enemies. Just talk shit. Blow shit up. So, Vince, does it does it not bother you that Trump said he was going to drain the swamp, but he's putting people in his cabinet like John Bolton and uh, Elliot Abrams? I mean, literal war criminals are in his cabinet now? Look, dummy. Well, I mean, think when you drain a swamp, what's going to happen? You... You drain it temporarily, but then other swamp things come into it, and you refresh the swamp with other swamp creatures. 
New chuds. <laughs> so so it doesn't bother you at all then? I mean, you, you're still cool with Trump, even though he, he himself is hiring these cretins to be in his cabinet. That, hey, look, baby, nothing bothers me at all. I don't think about anything. I just like bravado. I like a guy who pisses people off. That's all this is. <laughs> Why don't uh, you get on board? You'd be a great Trump supporter. Come on, flip over. <laughs> Join us. Come on. Just yelling at people. That's what I do. I like yelling at people, but for the right, I like yelling at the powerful, not the not the weak. Yeah, but you got to think about things. It's stupid. Uh, you're right. All right, Vince, thanks for calling in, and we look forward to uh, getting your take on the rest of the election cycle. Oh yeah, no, I'll be I'll be very opinionated and uninformed about it and I'll call you. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I was in great movies. <laughs> We're announcing our live dates for twenty nineteen. We're going to Chicago and Portland, Seattle, New York, all over the country. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets to all our shows. It'll be right underneath there too. Please become a patron if you like our content and help support the show. You can become a patron for $5 a month, and we give you hours of bonus material. And make sure you're subscribed. They unsubscribe people every day. I'm not kidding. Make sure you're subscribed and click that bell so they give you a notice when we drop a video. It's the only thing we can do to fight back against the bastards. Thanks for your support.